my channel is about all things chronic illness so don't forget to like comment and subscribe hey guys happy monday hope everyone is well so oh, i know i know i look a crazy mess so i just left the hospital um well seeing my primary um I saw actually his nurse practitioner or PA, I don't know which one she was. Um, I had to do a hospital follow up and she's reordering my amylase lipase, CMP, CBC, and I did get the cortisol because that was a whole uh, screw up um, when I tried to get that checked before. And I really feel like my adrenal insufficiency is active. Um, because one thing that happened uh, right out of the procedure, my heart rate dropped to like 30, and um, which warranted them to put me on telemetry uh, while I was in the hospital. So I knew I needed to follow up because I'm still having the severe abdominal pain when I eat. Um, I'm scheduled to get the, um, the stent out of my pancreas on Thursday, and I will be, um, Yeah, I get the stent out on Thursday. I have to go tomorrow and get my COVID test in Alabama. Because it has to be two days before. Um, I don't think I check in until like 9.30. Which means my procedure is not probably going to be until noon. Uh, what else? don't know when I can get my back procedure rescheduled I'm in so much pain like I when I got to registration to check in for my lab work I literally could not even sit down in the chair like it was just miserable um, so I don't know when I can get that redone my COVID my second COVID test is I mean vaccine supposed to be Friday I have to call Walgreens and find out if I'm even able to do that because um, I don't I, I remember reading something about like if you've been hospitalized da, 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 da. so I have to find out if there's a grace period because I really don't like want to like have to be recovering from one thing and then not knowing if I'm gonna have the side effects um, from the second one so that's where we're at right now um, I just really don't feel good I haven't had anything to eat except for grapes today and everything hurts um, except last night I had fish like I did uh, like pan seared fish and I just had rice and broccoli and that was like probably the first meal that didn't cause excruciating pain um, so I think I'm gonna have to um, uh, try to get back to try to like pescatarian lifestyle almost um, until I can get stuff under control um, just just doesn't I, I really just don't feel good I wasn't able really to rest this weekend um, because like one of the parents that was going to cover for me their kids got sent home not sure if they had covid or allergies so then of course they're in quarantine until they get their results back and it's just a lot y'all and so i told my husband i don't know what you're gonna do um for next for this coming up weekend because i just he knows i can't he wants me to take the entire soft uh off season off but when you don't have um enough like parents that know the system of um you know the registration process and the collecting the funds and stuff like that uh, i have to do what i have to do but know that once i got home 
and had dinner I crashed until literally the next morning so it's definitely been hard on me I plan to resume my Plaquenil and Humira after my second shot Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get that organized um, because I just don't feel like it's smart to go back on those two um, just in case like God forbid like I praying there there's no side effects but I would think it would make my side effects a lot worse being on you know immunosuppressant type medications and you know so I'm gonna wait um, like the doctor was saying that I can start back but he was saying like this was the perfect time to get stuff because I wasn't on the treatment um, so yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update on um, to what was going on recording it's okay and he's like what now I'm recording it oh you're not in it no. oh god turn it around turn it around oh this way mm -mm. oh oh <laughs> when you got to say it now I was thinking but she jumping though. He's <laughs> <laughs> killing no care. Some fucker. Girl. Girl. Yeah. 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 So as you just saw, I just got my um, COVID test. The girl, she's like always super bubbly and, you know, told her I was like, oh, I'll never have to see you again unless we're somewhere out in the street. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm heading back to Florida. It's raining. I promise you, every time I get my, I have a hair appointment, it rains every single time without fail. So I'm gonna go home, get out of these, hospital clothes that's one thing like I know my husband probably hates because now like when we go somewhere we get out of the clothes um, as soon as we get home um, but yeah I just wanted to, <clears throat> to pop on so I don't really have anything else today other than a zoom call which I'll do while I'm getting my hair done because my point is at one so at least I'll get a little bit of rest um, before then I, I've been saying I need to get back in with my therapist um, and I really need to just because of just starting to have like anxiety and like PTSD like dealing with any of these um, appointments and procedures healthcare like it's a lot um, I picked up my medical records um, so I can review everything that took place um, and to give them to the GI doctor when I see him. I think it's like October 7th or 14th. I can't remember the exact date. But I got a couple of things in October. Like I got a DEXA scan. And, um, so. But I will um, come back uh, probably Thursday. Um, just make it like one video with everything. Hey guys. Happy Wednesday. Um, it's late. Late as in 6.30 at night. And I'm going to the dispensary. I just didn't. I had a lot to try to get accomplished this morning. And, and by the time I got all the paperwork and some Zoom calls, I was just tired um and so I didn't go but then I thought about it I was like okay my procedure's tomorrow and <laughs> me and my husband just talked he's like you're not staying he was like I don't, you know even if they say you're in pain and they want you to stay I'm not keep like leaving you there and I said I don't want you to leave me there you just need to bring me back to Florida um <clears throat> but just in case I would um need to um, make sure I have enough of my medical marijuana to get through if you know any discomfort because um, they're going to be re 
removing this and I'm not sure the odds of pancreatitis happening again with the removal as it did with the replacement um, so I just want to be on the safe side I did go to the MedMen dispensary yesterday but this one that I the other one that I go to is on the other side of town and when I went you have to shop multiple dispensaries just to get different types um, of products and the one that I'm heading to, they have the best one um, for the indica. I don't know what strain or whatever, fly, I don't know. They have the best one that helps with pain control, in my opinion. Um, I feel like Med Men, I like their uh, Sativa brand stuff, like my drops that I do in the daytime. Their indica drops that are supposed to be for discomfort and help with sleep, it really only like kind of takes the edge off, but it doesn't make you sleepy. Um, so it's just you just have to play around. Every dispensary is different, it depends on who their grower, their farm, whatever it is. Um, and there's been times where you go to one place and then it's like, dang, didn't I just get this? Why isn't it the same? But it, it, like a trial and error so anyway i'm going to get this one which will be called the true clear that's in a little syringe um i don't think i've ever showed you guys that one but um i can if i remember to pick the camera up because i do it right at bedtime but that one you know if i take that during the daytime i'm going to sleep the same thing at night you know when i take that normally i'm out for the rest of the night only sometimes getting up to go to the bathroom um so i'm very pleased with you know truly brand if you're in florida uh they it's they're worth it they're they're more expensive than any other uh, dispensary that i've dealt with um but they run specials like right now I placed my order, but I'm getting 40% off of my order. So I'm pretty sure when I go in, I'll probably add one more um, and get a, a little device um, for it. So to to use it. Um, but yeah, I'm I, yeah. I try to only shop when there's sales going on, and normally you get emails every single day. Um, with sales and I remember when I first got my card like you barely got promotional things and I think that's because the state was so new to everything but now there's so many more dispensaries opening in our area I think there's like four more but I've never been there um so yeah I mean it, it's, it's like they're now in competition and I like that because they're running some really great specials because a lot of times I only go to this dispensary at least once or twice one to once a month or every other month I'm trying to get it out because a lot of times if they're running a special like last month or the month before I can't remember they had a buy one get one free on the um the true clear that I use so I was able to get that and I probably should have done like four total so I wouldn't have to be out now but I I'm just cheap um so yeah anytime they do run specials I do try to take advantage of the products that I use good morning guys happy Wednesday no Thursday so heading down to go get my procedure I gotta be there at 9.30. So that's where we are in route to. But I will keep you guys uh, posted um, once I come out. Hi, guys. So sorry, I didn't come back um, when I got home. Um, 7.17. Finally getting to like rest. So procedure, like we got there. Um, there was a, a lot of patients that were complaining about like waiting, but it wasn't for the doctor that I was seeing. It was for a different doctor, a GI doctor. Um, so I probably only waited 30 minutes. Um, and then they took me back. Um, the issue I had, um, was I got stuck, f uh, five, 
five times, four, no, four times. Um, the last time they had to call in the vascular vein people to come in and then she got it. It was bruised, but she got it. Um, they took me back, you know, like, I don't know if you, if you watched the f initial process with this EUS, like they put you to sleep and they actually intubate you. Um, and I was like sitting there, you know, talking, you know, laughing with the nurses and, um, the, I, I was, I was, she was like, oh, I'm going to now lay you back and put some, um, the mask on you. Um, it's just oxygen is going to go slow, you know, talking, you know, the normal anesthesia talk. And I'm like, okay. I was like, I was like, call me crazy, but I'm like super nauseous. And she was like, oh, are you? And then I started like about to bring it up. I was like, do you have something? I'm dry even trying to tell them to get me something. They're like scrambling around to get me a, a emesis basin. Got it. I'm just throwing up. And then she was like, oh, I gave you Pepsid, Pepsid, Zofran, and something else. Because I knew that um, anesthesiologist said he was going to do some steroids. So I don't know if that's what she gave me. I just kept th throwing up, kept throwing up. And I, they had to get me a wet cloth. Like, it was it was bad. And um, I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He was like, don't apologize. And I was like, and so she was trying to give me something else to like like reverse it or give me something else to make the stop you know stop vomiting and then it was like the dry heaves were even worse with whatever she gave me and so they finally got it to the point where i could like had a quick break and she was like okay i'm gonna go ahead and just put you to sleep and you'll get better and i was like oh my god you know like, i'm like don't let me aspirate on my vomit lord um but when i when i tell y'all when i woke up my stomach wasn't hurting like it, it wasn't hurting and I was like praise Jesus so now it hurts a little because I, of what I ate um but it felt good to not have any discomfort coming out of that procedure like God was so good um and the doctor just pretty much was like you know yeah with your lupus um it's just it's just a hard thing but he was like don't ever let anyone just go in and like try to mess around with your liver and pancreas because he feels like I shouldn't have to go through anything anymore. Like what he did resolved it. But he said, you know, only time will tell. And I just said, thank you. He was very polite. Um, but it was a lot of praying with that situation. So um, I did speak with the hospital. They called and did a survey. And I told them how extremely displeased I was about the admission and all of the stuff. So he's going to have a representative from the hospital call me within a couple of days. Because um, I told him, I said, the only reason I went back is because this is the only doctor that can take it out. And other than that, I would never come back to this hospital ever again. And I, I, and I promise you that. So, um, yeah. I just wanted to let you guys know um, what was up. So thank you guys for your prayers. Um, tomorrow I'm supposed to get my, um, second, uh, vaccine, um, shot and as long as I'm feeling good, I'm gonna go ahead and just get it done and then, you know, I'll come back and let you guys know how that went.